Good morning to you once again. The devotion this morning is part of the series on the gifts of the Spirit, which is the focus leading up to the day of Pentecost, the celebration of Pentecost on Sunday. I've been asked to focus on the gift of mercy. I'm reading a passage from Romans chapter 12, beginning at verse 6. Paul says, we have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. And we thank God for his word. There's something confusing here, isn't there? Paul is speaking here about gifts of the Spirit, special abilities that are given to certain people within the body of Christ. And yet quite a number of the things mentioned here are things which we know all of us as followers of Jesus should display. Things like serving, encouraging, giving, showing mercy. Jesus says, be merciful just as your heavenly Father is merciful. Or in the Sermon of the Mount, he said, blessed, blessed are the merciful, for they will obtain mercy. The general answer to this to this problem or this question seems to be that here Paul is talking about having a, a special measure, an extraordinary degree of, of these various attributes, an extraordinary degree of faith or generosity or showing mercy. The person who comes to mind when we, we talk of showing mercy in extraordinary measure is Mother Teresa. She had that amazing capacity, didn't she, for, for showing kindness and compassion to the very poorest of the poor. And each church should have one or two or, or more, more such people in, in their congregation. They are the ones who have a, a tremendous passion for the poor and the oppressed, the marginalized. And they need to step forward and highlight those needs and express their deep compassion to the, the rest of us. And sometimes that may take special courage because the ministry that, that they envisage is sometimes quite radical. What may be or seem unrealistic to others, just as the, the vision of Mother Teresa to, to minister to thousands on the streets of Calcutta may have seemed very unrealistic, unrealistic to many people. And so when we see that gift in someone, we need to support them and encourage them and not write them off as unrealistic or crazy. We need to get behind them with our own contribution of mercy and compassion and to support them in that ministry. Maybe you recognize that gift of mercy in yourself or maybe you recognize it in, an, in another person. <clears throat> let's not keep those insights to ourselves but let's talk about them within the congregation so that we will have those people who are able to lead us in our ministry, our ministry of care, our ministry of compassion and mercy to the many needs that there are around us. Now let's pray together. God of mercy, we pray that you would guide and lead us in such a way that your mercy and kindness and compassion may be displayed through us and through our church, 
We thank you for those who have been given that special measure of compassion and kindness and mercy. Help them, Lord, to be able to exercise that gift and help the rest of us to be able to support them and to work with them so that your mercy indeed may be extended within our church and beyond our church into the community around us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.